hi guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video we are going to be doing a review and full day wear test of the brand new charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation you guys know i'm a huge fan of charlotte tilbury so i've been so excited to finally be able to get my hands on it so let's see how it wears today notice I do look a little rough today we're wearing a sweatshirt today is a work from home day for my job so I'm not getting dressed up sorry but I am going to get glam a lot of people were able to get this foundation early I obviously was not this is currently available on the Charlotte Tilbury website it will be available online and in stores at Sephora August 29th which is coming up so let's talk details of this foundation it is $44, which is not terrible for a luxury foundation. You get one whole fluid ounce in the bottle, which is quite typical. So the major claims of this foundation, it's supposed to be full coverage. We'll see about that with a matte finish, which is a little bit different than most of the foundations out right now. The trend is a lot more glowy, hydrating foundations. So that's a little bit different. And it's supposed to be a long lasting weightless hybrid skincare foundation. So what I'm looking at on the website that makes this foundation more unique other than it's a full coverage matte foundation is that it's a skincare hybrid so it says this is the first foundation to use Replexium which is supposed to significantly reduce the appearance of wrinkles by up to 22% after eight weeks of use obviously I will not be able to test that can I be honest I don't even think that that's really true I just feel like a lot of times that's just a trick but you know what what do I know <laughs> um, and it, it has a bunch of weird ingredients in here Moss Cell Tech, which helps thoroughly hydrate the skin, and Air Cool, which provides an immediate fresh feel on the skin. These are all like trademarked, and I've never seen these ingredients in a foundation. So, very, very interesting if you are an ingredient person. It is supposed to be a hydrating yet matte foundation. And last thing that I noticed on the website is that they recommend five minutes for true color to optimize, which, in other terms, this oxidizes. So, there are 44 shades in the range, which for Charlotte Tilbury that is a huge improvement. Uh, still, the last line of colors is looking like the deep, so the range is not spread very evenly, but I do have to admit 44 shades is a lot for Charlotte. I got mine in the shade for neutral. I was struggling to pick a color. Normally, I say I wear about a five in the Magic Foundation, but number four just sounded like a better match online, so we'll see about that. But anyways, let's talk packaging of this guy. So absolutely beautiful. This is the most beautiful foundation packaging she has in the line. You have the beautiful metal rose gold tip. It's a frosted glass. It's just really beautiful with a pump. I just love how everything in her line looks so cohesive. Those I am a little bit bored of it, but still it does as a whole look really great together. And you know what? Enough jibber jabber. Let's get into it. If you hear things in the background, they're cutting a tree down outside of my house and I'm not going to wait for them to get done. I got stuff to do. On my skin, all I have is moisturizer. We are going to keep it that way for this video. Let's squirt her out. Oh no, this looks kind of light. It's not a super liquidy consistency. A touch thick, but not too thick. Like I've had some extremely thick foundations. And I mean, hopefully this does oxidize for the sake of this color is too light and I should have just gone with my gut. Wow, that finish though is looking really nice. So my favorite way to apply foundations, if you don't already know, is I like to spread it out more evenly with my finger. I just feel like that gives the most optimum amount of coverage with a sponge and then you can just use a sponge to kind of fine tune everything and work it into the skin more on my hand i'm definitely noticing this is oxidizing a bit more which is great because it almost looks a little bit more yellow and i have more of a neutral undertone and it's drying to more of a neutral undertone which is good for me so i'm doing like baby pumps so i would say all in all i've probably used one and a half to two pumps i am getting kind of 
a lot of coverage though so i think if you want just a little bit of product one pump should do you good here's how we are looking so so far just by looking at my skin immediately let me zoom you in mind you i have nothing on my face no concealer so i do look a little crazy it is a matte finish it really is i feel like it would pair nicely with some of her other glowy face products so that's nice to have in the line as you can see, you can see a little bit of my freckles. I'm going to build it up a little bit and see maybe if you do get more full coverage from building. But this does have a nice amount of coverage, but my freckles do always tend to kind of show through. Yeah, okay, so she is pretty nicely buildable. So this definitely does have buildable coverage. Uh, I wouldn't say this reaches full coverage. I would say it's somewhere between medium and full, but you know, given the nature of foundations released recently, yeah, this is one of the more full coverage ones that are released. It's matte, but it looks really nice on my skin. I don't feel too dry. I don't look too dry. It is a little bit sticky on my skin. I do want to give it a few more minutes. So I'm I'm going to finish the rest of my face I'm only gonna lightly set and I will catch you guys in a few minutes so my makeup is done I was playing around with a lot of products which by the way I did end up picking up the morphe Jeffree star collaboration I don't know if it was because I used the Anastasia eye primer and these shadows just don't agree but yikes um, I will keep you updated. I need to find out what's wrong. But anyways, other than that, this is what the foundation looks like with a bunch of my normal makeup on top. I know I look really orange, not really vibing with the look today, but we're just playing immediately. Yes, this foundation is very matte. I do actually feel a little bit dry, not that hydrating. So just to be fair, because I would normally do this, I am taking a little bit of MAC Fix Plus to add some life to me. If you have dry skin, there's nothing wrong with doing this just a touch to make me feel like my skin does feel a little tight I'm not gonna lie immediately I feel better don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning but I do have normal to dry skin I prefer a more hydrating foundation I wouldn't necessarily say this is hydrating I didn't notice it emphasizing any dry patches though I don't really have that many right now so that might be why but a matte foundation isn't bad it's long wearing so for matte foundations it's not really how it looks immediately for me it's about how it looks down the road and how it wears so we will see we will test that out with a little bit of that spray already it's feeling better it's looking better um, there is absolutely no sinkage into my smile lines yet because sometimes at this point some foundations already are going into my smile lines so that's a good sign overall my skin looks pretty smooth um, it looks very matte nice and the matte is a really nice change honestly I'm so used to so much glow so anyways it's about 8 in the morning so I will keep you guys updated hey guys so we are at the three to three and a half ish hour point I did just want to give you a quick look at how it's sitting on my skin I will be honest I've been quite stagnant in my movement meaning I've been laying in bed for the past three hours working on my computer <laughs> but I did just kind of want to show you how how the foundation has settled into my skin so let's zoom in so as you can see at this point there is some slight sinkage into my smile lines nothing bad at all honestly for three and a half hours I do notice it breaking up around my nose just a little bit and that's kind of early on if I'm being honest I haven't ate or drank anything or moved my foreheads looking really really nice and I mean overall it is looking a lot more natural than it was this morning because my oils have kind of come through but I have to say it is looking a little bit makeup -y on my skin and I guess that is because it's like a full coverage foundation but yeah this definitely is not a natural finish as far as how it looks sitting on the skin but it still does look pretty it's wearing okay I don't know I don't know I definitely will have to wear it around a little bit more so I will be back in a few hours all right so we are around the eight hour checkpoint so I'm going to finish off my thoughts for the day so let's Take a closer look. Smile lines aren't bad. I've definitely seen worse with some foundations. Some major things I'm noticing, a lot of oil 
has collected on my nose and I did heavily powder that area so that's just something to be noted I would say for this starting off as a matte foundation I do have more of a natural finish now so it went from matte to natural which I personally don't mind because I do like that little bit of dew to the face I think it looks more natural but I'm not excessively oily by any means which is a good thing I will say it was pretty weak around the nose area pretty early on I did notice some shine on my nose which is quite rare for a matte foundation so honestly I'm very surprised because normally my nose does not get this shiny even with a dewy foundation. As far as how the makeup's sitting on the skin you can see that it's makeup. It's not unflattering or super cakey by any means. I did eat a hot soup earlier today so it actually held up around the mouth area pretty well so I'm actually quite impressed with that. So I'll let you get one quick look so that you can see. So here are kind of my overall thoughts about the foundation. Definitely don't think it's the best foundation in the world. For me, if I'm looking for more of a matte long wear foundation, I'm definitely going to go towards the Estee Lauder Double Wear. That one is a comparable foundation, I would say, but Estee does it better in my opinion. It's not a bad foundation at all. It wore decent, not the best, most long wearing foundation like it claims. What I don't like about it is I can kind of see it sitting on top of my skin and it just looks more makeup-y because lately my preference has been more natural foundations so this is a bit much for me if you don't mind a full beat face this is pretty good it has decent coverage and it doesn't look too cakey at the end of the day but for somebody like me who has been into more lightweight wearable natural foundations this is like a lot to me uh, what I do really like this foundation for is I feel like it does look really nice on the skin so I would like this for my Instagram pictures obviously not everybody does Instagram pictures or is on camera like me so for me that's good for me it's definitely worth keeping because I love the way it looks on camera but in everyday life I definitely would say it's not my favorite foundation as far as Charlotte Tilbury goes I would prefer her magic foundation more or I would mix this foundation with the light wonders so I can definitely see myself getting used for it. I think if I mix it in with the Light Wonder, I definitely will prefer the formula much more. One great thing about this though is it said it was more of a moisturizing foundation and I do have to say, I know I don't have too much dryness in my skin, but I, I feel like my skin doesn't look dry and sometimes with matte foundations, my skin can feel tight and dry at the end of the day. I'm not getting that. So that is a really good plus with this foundation. I think this foundation is really good for all different types of skin tones honestly and it's very rare that I say that obviously you will need to adjust based on your skin type if you have more oily skin make sure you powder make sure you bring a powder with you throughout the day because obviously if my oils are coming through yours are too but I think the oils look nice with it but just make sure you're powdering I think if you have dry skin this works really well if you like a matte finish and you have dry skin this is really nice as well so I do think this is quite fitting for all skin types it's just a little bit too makeupy for me and I never thought I would say that but yeah my opinions on how I like my skin to look have really changed over time also those of you with mature skin I think this is a pretty good foundation for more mature skin so if you have a lot of discoloration and you like coverage this worked pretty well over the lines of my face and it doesn't make your skin feel tight or look tight so this might be good for you so yeah overall I think this foundation is okay it's definitely got its advantages it definitely has its disadvantages for me, it's just not my favorite type of foundation, but I know for a lot of people, you are going to like this. So that's all I have to say for today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you tried this foundation, let me know your skin type and how it worked out for you. I will pin the most helpful comment to other people. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of other foundation videos that I need to do, which is both annoying and exciting. So just stay tuned for that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.